so I just wanted to cover um, quickly about the JBAS, the Yont, the biosecurity stuff. Um, so, has any? Did you guys hear about JBAS, Yoni's Beef Assurance Score, or the LPA stuff? You might have got something in the in the mail from LPA. So, I mean, I, I've done whole workshops on this, so I'll try and be really brief. Pretty much, Yoni's nationally, um, all the industries got together, and they um, they wanted it deregulated. So nationally. The state, the state governments all said, yeah, okay, we're happy to deregulate it if industry wants that, that to happen. Um, but you've got to come up with a way to manage the risk of, yo of yonis in beef cattle. So they came up with a yonis beef assurance score. Um, there are some, there, there looks like there's some information over there about it. Pretty much without doing anything, you're gonna be a score six, but you, you'll, and <laughs> it's quite complicated. They kept on changing the, the rules of what um, what it was to get different scores. Um, but you all have a biosecurity plan soon because of LPA and that will give you a score six for Yonis. Anyway, it's quite confusing, so please give us a call um, or speak to your private vet about it. The Yonis, um, sorry, the livestock production assurance, that's separate to JBAS. So you, if you have a, a, an MVD, you'll, have an, you'll be LPA accredited. And the reason that LPA decided to do um, the, if you go to the next slide, to do biosecurity plans was that they asked, say, a thousand producers, um, are you LPA accredited? And I think, you know, 0.2% or something knew that they were. Most people didn't know that they were LPA accredited. So they thought, well, something's wrong here. We need to be able to show the rest of the world that our meat is safe. And the other countries um, in the world, if you just go back, sorry, Liz. So it's all about market access and having safe meat. That's what livestock production assurance is about. And um, yeah, our ex countries that we export um, cattle and sheep and goat and everything else to, they really are getting a bit um, more needy in their requirements of, of evidence and documentary evidence that um, what we say about our clean, green um, food is true. So it's, that's why we're, we've headed to, or they've headed to this um, biosecurity plan. So it's an industry program. You need to, you'll need to have one to be LPA accredited um, when you get your re-accreditation, which is over the next few years. Yeah, as I said, it's, it's quite, I mean, I could, yeah, you could go on it for a couple of hours about it and how it all works. So pretty much what you guys need to know is you need a biosecurity plan if you haven't got one. You needed one by the 1st of October. Um, but that's okay if you haven't got one. There's, they're not going to be too harsh on it. So make sure you get one now. There's templates online. And if you just Google LPA template, it's the first one that comes up there. It's four pages. Um, just download that and then um, go through and fill it out. The JBAS part, that, that's all part of it. And you'll also need a welfare plan. Um, and this is all to get your LPA accreditation, so to get your MVD book. Um, you'll need a copy or access. So that can be as good as if, if you get audited by LPA and they say, where's your, um, where are your welfare standards and guidelines? If you can just say, yep, I've got them as a bookmark on my computer. So just go to the website, which is on the next, page loose. Yeah, it's animalwelfarestandards.net.au. Just bookmark that. And then if you ever get audited, that'll bring up the latest standards and guidelines. You can print them off as well. And um, by doing your welfare plan, which, yeah, heaps more information, but by doing that, you've pretty much said that you have, um, you've had access and you've read the animal welfare standards and guidelines for the um, stock that you've got. So there's ones for um, cattle, Sheep, horses, yeah, poultry, goats, um, land threats. So you need to have a have an idea about what's in them.